What is going on everybody? Lucas Parsons here with LGS Outdoors and uh, well we are in Fairmont, Minnesota this morning or well afternoon uh, but uh, we're not going to be doing any fishing we're just kind of checking things out it's kind of the calm before the next storm but really if mother nature could uh, shut this uh, rain off that would be amazing because this is getting kind of crazy up this way and even in even in Iowa uh, they're calling for anywhere from three to ten inches of rain overnight here Friday night into Saturday so things could get real hairy if we get any of that because right now I'm at the park on Gums Rudd Park here just kind of looking at it and it is probably the highest I've ever seen it I don't think in my experiences of being around this this chain of lakes here for as long as we've been fishing them and been around them I have never seen the water this high I see here to show you guys but uh, yeah that's uh, that's water all the way up into the parking lot that is the boat ramp there is some, uh, well, I'll see when these people go through, they're checking it out, I don't want to get them, but there's ducks, <laughs> the ducks sitting on the boat, boat access there. Really crazy. And uh, if anybody's wondering, it is no wake right now. <laughs> the five mile an hour speed is back enacted, but uh, that is what we got going on there too. Uh, crazy thing to see, and obviously I haven't seen any boaters, which I wouldn't expect to see very many people out here boating on water like this but even coming through the channels it's I've never seen it it's coming out of the channels the water is here going from you know hall to bud and I'm not even sure it'd be tough to get through there on the boats if you can but uh, yeah I mean this is normally where you're coming out to you're usually coming out here to take the plug out or put the plug in to get ready and usually park by those trash cans but uh, yeah she's uh, she's high and if they get more Oh boy. <laughs> you can still get the boat in. I'm not going to say you can't. But it might be interesting. And I don't know. I mean, shore fishing wise, I mean, I've seen people out fishing from shore. I'm sure these fish are coming in and got a lot to feed on. So it'll be a little tougher to catch them. But uh, yeah. Hopefully we can get through this and the water levels get back down and we'll get back rolling with doing more trips and everything else and getting fishing again. Uh, definitely going to be interesting. I gotta walk all the way around here, but uh, what do we got going on for Legends? Uh, like I said, we're gonna do a little special here coming July and August. We're gonna do $250 for two people for four hour trips, uh, 500 for the seven hour full day. So we're gonna do that special coming up. So keep, in, keep that in mind if you're looking to get out with us. Uh, so yeah, the dog days of summer, July or summer, July and August, uh, that's what we're planning on doing. So like I said, $250 for two people for a four hour trip. And then 500 for the uh, full day, and that'll be lunch provided as well. So if you're looking, it's kind of what we're gonna do. Try to give guys a break. We know, you know, everybody's kind of struggling. Things are getting a little tougher with how things are going. So kind of save you a little money, so you still go fishing with us, and have a good time. And honestly, the bite's still really good. July and August as well. It's just hotter, but that's about it. So all right, getting a little winded walking up to the channel. But yeah, there, there you have it. There it is. <laughs> She's full. She's full. Very full. And over at Hall Lake, there was a, you know, that dock there that everybody's been fishing off of. I, I don't have to get over there and walk over there for you guys and check it out, but I think it's gone. I think it's underwater or it floated away. But yeah, this is crazy. Uh, actually, Amber Lake still had access. You could get in there on the boat ramp yet. So that was good. I'm going to guess that, you know, getting on system, getting through the channels is going to be a pain in the butt right now. So trying to get through places with your boat and getting, getting there is kind of what we were thinking. It's going to be a lot tougher with this high water getting in and out of the channel, especially with the current. I mean, there's a lot of flow coming through. Pretty crazy how fast it's flowing through the channel. be a lot of fun on a kayak. So, you know, any of you guys that like to kayak fish, may not be a bad idea to come out here and give it a shot. But, man, it is just... Crazy weather. Like I said, this is kind of the calm before the storm tonight. Hopefully, fingers crossed that it somehow decides, misses us, whatever you want to say. Hopefully, but man, this is just crazy. It's crazy stuff. Iowa's not much better. Like I said, we're anywhere from three to ten inches, what they're saying. You know, it's just flying out here. You can see the ripples. That's not the wind. That's just the water flowing through the channel. Crazy. Crazy fast. High water, docks underwater. Like I said, it's a five mile an hour, no wake, obviously, right now, but uh, 
not many people got their boats out and like I said you can see over there most of those docks are underwater so let's hope that everybody doesn't have too much damage from all this it's not been a lot of fun you know it's good for the lakes to get these lakes back up but I think we're full so mother nature we're full we don't need any more I think we're good for the rest of the summer you know give us a tenth here and there during the week but that's about it so yeah that's uh, that's bud going into hall I'll walk over there to hall and kind of show you guys the shoreline uh, the beach is gone uh, you know it's underwater so you can't see the beach <laughs> and yeah it's just crazy I've never never seen it like this definitely gonna make things tougher but I would think by the month of July means we're almost there hopefully things will level off and get get the water back down and we can get back to just back in our boats and normally and get back to fishing the way we like to do it so but yeah also uh, you know, check out my hat got my legend shirt on there don't forget about our online store check that baby out I'll put a link in the comments so you can check that out uh, check our online store out we got some cool shirts and cool gear LGS outdoors or legends guide service gear got some shirts with some cool sayings on the back of them so check that out but uh, all right I'm gonna walk over to Hall and show you what's going on over there stay tuned all right well we made it over here to Hall forgot to mention I had the family with me what'd you think uh, we had stopped in I conned them into some ice cream to have them ride along with me what'd you think of dairy freeze it was good good stuff these guys came along too, but they just came along for the ice cream as well. <laughs> I wanted to fish. That's why I came. Well, we might we might do a little bit here, right? We're we're gonna fish. No. Okay. Well, we might do we might do a little bit. You know, we can't come here and not try to cast a line of some sort. But uh, yeah, here's the beach. Or well. What was the beach? I'd say it's more of the grass line now, but it she's used up. To be few people out here fishing from shore like I said I don't think the shore bite would be a terrible thing to do right now with all that water coming in like it is and you got uh, that going on I'm gonna walk over there I don't know I don't know if that dock is there if we can see it or not but there there was a dock over here and I almost guess that it's gone <laughs> loaded away but yeah that's why we got the, the no wake with this high water pretty obvious there crazy how much it's up and flowing through the channels and it's going to take a while for it to go back down and we'll see what tonight brings hopefully hopefully they're wrong for you know hopefully they're wrong got a dead drum there and a carp <laughs> yeah there was a dock over here and kind of the, the access that we use over here for the ice fishing is over this way but I don't see the dock anywhere. I, I don't know if it floated away. <laughs> right where that fella's standing over there. That's where the dock was, but here's the here's the ramp that we usually go down, but I can see the water's definitely washed that away really bad. Oh boy. They'll address that though in the future, but yeah, wow. That's all I can say is wow, and just keep our fingers crossed that we don't get hit too hard tonight. But uh, yeah. There's a dock floating somewhere. <laughs> it could be, or maybe the city, maybe they pulled it out quick. I don't see it in the, I don't see it in the parking lot. And this but, one's uh, floating dock. No, I see something, a dock over there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, so they did. Okay, never mind. They pulled her out. It must have been, there we go. It's in the parking lot. Good eye, Ryder. All right, so we didn't, we didn't lose it, but uh, that was kind of a hot place to go fishing too here when the water gets back down, so keep that in mind. So yeah, wow. Well, guys. I mean, there isn't going to be any fishing in this video, unfortunately, but we just kind of want to show you what's going on here in these channel lakes and crazy how things are going and crazy how high this water is. Hopefully, hopefully this rain holds off tonight and it doesn't get too crazy and hopefully things will get back to normal and we'll be able to everybody get back to fishing and enjoying the lakes, whether you're fishing or recreation, whatever you like to do, but crazy. So, all right, guys. Well, with that being said, I kind of just want to show you what's going on. And uh, that's it. Hopefully we'll be tuned in soon for another fishing video here, another fish report from Fairmont. Uh, as far as that goes, you know, the bite's still been going good. I've been finding those yellow bass out in the deeper water in the boats. Uh, spawn's over with, if anybody's wondering, that's done. Uh, so, you know, all the fish are kind of moving in out into that deeper water. Some of them are coming close, but, you know, shore bite's going to be, like I said, right now, late evening, and then early morning is going to be really good. But uh, otherwise, if you get out in the boats, you're kind of finding them in that anywhere from that 15 to 19 foot of water which would probably be even higher now but <laughs> that was just last weekend when i was out here what we were catching them in and uh so that's what's going on but uh all right guys well appreciate you watching 
and uh, we'll uh, see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.